what is today's match all about? Today's match is all about punishing. Clark Wolf is known as loving horror and blood. I'm gonna rip her guts out. I'm gonna step on them. I'm gonna come in there. I'm gonna just cut throats. I'm gonna cut arms. There's gonna be so much blood, you're gonna have to change studios. Look, Josh Makuga is a fierce competitor, and he has done incredible in the league so far, and I have a lot of respect for him. He knows his trivia, but like I said, I want to win this thing. I want to be taken seriously, and so if I take him down and maybe snatch his chance at the title, well, then that's what's gonna happen. In the original Schmodown, I came in guns blazing. Yeah, I had a tough first round matchup against Bonnie Somerville, who didn't choose mob movies, a girl from Brooklyn. I can't blame stupidity on bad decision making. All I can do is win. I beat Christian Harloff in what some are calling a controversy that I cheated on a blue fairy and on a guy named Matthew Broderick. Oh my god. No. Give him the point. I bet six, Matthew Broderick. No! I've never even heard of the movie. I've never heard I'm the number two contender, and I'm the number two contender off one question. This is very much a game of chance and luck, just as much as it is uh, knowledge. And so you never know, there could be a question that comes that is kind of outside my wheelhouse. So we'll see, but if I get the horror category, I think I'm gonna feel pretty confident. Yes, Mark Riley is the champion. Yes, he's got enough in his midsection to wear that belt. But does he have enough to beat me in another schmodown? I got the I think Mark Riley's scared. He should be scared of what might happen if he beats me, because I'm the wild man. Josh McCuga, listen, buddy. We go way back. You're my friend. You're kind of smart. But today is your reckoning. It's on, and I'm going to take you out, because I'm going to win this thing. Boom! You're a speed bump. A speed bump on the way to ultimate victory. And what happens with speed bumps? You ride right over them, and you pay the price on your shocks later. See ya, Clark. See ya. Welcome back to the movie trivia schmodown. My goodness, what a set of matches we've had so far. Mark Ellis not here today, but joining me on the table, he is the outlaw, John Roca. John, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's a bit painful to come back to the scene of the crime, but I'm happy to be here. Good to have you with me, man, thanks. because you know this scenery. You know what's going to happen, yeah. and what a match we have tonight. We've got the wild man, yeah. Josh McCuga, the number two contender, going up against a newcomer. The ginger assassin. Classy Clark Wolf. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about this. What, what, what should we be looking out here for with the wild man and Classy Clark? Well, listen, the wild man does, hosts a lot of movie shows. He goes to a lot of events. He, I've had a number of conversations with him as we've hosted shows here on Collider. The man knows his stuff. A lot of people think he's the fool because he makes the jokes, he acts those characters, but behind that, there's a really strong intelligence and love of movies. So I, I wouldn't count him out. A lot of people have counted him out in the past. Yeah. In 2014, in the Ultimate Schmodown competition, he was a finalist. He almost beat the reigning champion, Mark Riley, by one point. Yeah, and if I'm not overstating it, that would have been one of the greatest upsets in the Schmodown. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. the guy in every match he had, he defeated me. That is a conversation that has been debated for a very long time. Is that However, the Blue Fairy question? It's a Blue Fairy oh, okay. question, yeah. but the man has the victory, so you give it to him. Here we are today. If he wins this match today, mm -hmm. he plays the winner of JTE and Mark Riley are going ahead. So let's get into the top 10 contention. Before we get into our tweets, I want the fans to know what the title picture is looking like, what the who the top 10 contenders are right now. Well, before we get there, can we do a little bit of uh, talk about Clark Wolf? Clark sure. Wolf, off air, I've had conversations with her trainer. She has watched every single one of these Schmodowns. So she's prepared. It's like she, Mike Tyson and custom motto. Exactly. Yeah. She's walking in there, so nobody better overlook Clark Wolf. This could be this could be a surprise on both sides of these. That's what I love about this. You cannot choose one over the other. It'd be very interesting because Clark Wolf is looking to, to pull a major upset here and yeah. show herself right towards that title contender. Absolutely. All right, so here we go. Here are the top 10 contenders as they stand today. Coming in at number 10, he is the Enigma Finstock at oh, one and one. That cloth bearded fool. He's going to get his butt kicked. By John Schnapp maybe yeah. next week and be right out of that top 10. Number nine, you got the pit boss, Ken Knapsack at one and one. Number eight, from Rotten Tomatoes, Gray Drake. Woo! 
Number seven, <laughs> you have my partner in crime, Mark Ellis, in wow. the seventh spot. Not low. Number seven. Well, he hasn't competed in a little bit. He's one and one. Okay. He, he Mark's someone to look out for, obviously. Right. Number six, that would be the inglorious one, Sam Levine, who played last week, beat Hal Levine, standing at one and zero. Oh. Sam Levine is someone to look out for. That guy comes in with a lot of credentials and people thinking that he's going to take this whole thing. Uh, number five, this is going to be very interesting. Keep we the can camera. skip this one. Uh, I number think. five, yep. he is the Mance man, Scott Mance, after his victory over you, is the number five ranked contender at one and zero. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Next, number four, dangerous Dan Merle at one and zero. Oh. Who people are thinking this yeah. is a guy who might be able to take the title. I think he was very impressive in his fight with Campia, and surprisingly enough. People counted him out because of the movie fights thing and the anti seniority thing. The guy brought his knowledge. Yeah. He really showed something. And no. the belt. Number three, that would be myself. At two and one, I have a match that I'm going to be announcing very soon. Mm. So if I can get there, maybe eventually I'll be in the title picture. Who knows? Yeah. Then number two, we mentioned it. The wild man, Josh McCuga, sitting pretty yeah. at three and one. Yeah. And you have the, reign, the number one contender going up against Mark Riley on the 29th. The mispronunciation assassin, it is JTE. He's a member of the Bald Brotherhood, and he does not lose. He's got a lot of confidence. He's, he's really kid. good. Yeah. So that's where your contenders stand today. Now we get to our match. It is time to go, but before we do, let's get to the tail of the tape. There you go. You see Clark Wolf. Her strengths wow. are horror film. Makuga, if he gets the 80s or the 90s, could be in good shape. Maybe some sports movies. Yeah. But you don't know. It's the unknown. It's that question mark with Clark Wolf. What's going to happen? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Are we ready, John? Absolutely. I can't wait for this one. Let's bring them out. Introducing first. She is a newcomer to Hello. the movie Look trivia showdown. You know her from Nerdist. You know her from Hit wow. Fix. She is the horror aficionado making her debut in the showdown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Classy Clark Wolf. Wow. That is a, qu that's quite an entrance. Quite. That she did the nice whole runway entrance. thing, played to each camera. She knows. She studied this thing backwards and forwards. She knows exactly what to do. I feel her, her hair is a little more red today. Oh, yeah. Well, is it? Yeah. yeah. Maybe so. Okay. Well, the ginger and, assassin. And her opponent. No stranger to the movie trivia schmodown. Oh. He is wow. the host of Collider TV Talk. He is the host of the Josh Mukuga Show. He is the 2014 Ultimate Schmodown finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, with a record of three wins, one defeat, oh. he is the number two ranked contender. Ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> wild man, Josh Makuga! Wow, man, what an entrance. There it is. That, that is was Top Gun-esque, that My entrance. My lord. lord. Yeah. These guys are ready to go. Makuga, Wolf, before we get into the rules of round one, anything that you want to say to each other, to the audience, or you just want to go? Do you want a prediction for the fight? Do it. Pain. Oh, yeah. a little Clubber Lang action nice. there. Clark Wolf. Well, if we get Billy Madison as the category, I'm in big trouble. But I yeah. think other than that, I'm going to be able to hold it down. Miss like Lippy's car is wolf. green. For you guys watching at home, here is how round one works. The contestants have six predetermined categories. You cannot steal from your opponent in this round. One point apiece. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin round one. Clark you are the underdog. You are going to be able to pick between either category one or category two. Oof. Uh, I'm going to go Tough with. Tough one there, huh? It is. One or two. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go with one. You're going to go with one. Makuga, would you like to go first or would you like Clark to go first? Uh, I would prefer if Clark went first. Okay. Right. And Clark picked one. I will be answering. I'll be asking the questions to Clark. You will be answering to Makuga. Okay. All right, Clark. In the category of animated, in the category of animated, Name three of the five main animals that Mowgli interacts with in Disney's The Jungle Book. Character names, please. Baloo three. the bear. Baloo. Shere Khan the tiger. Correct. Uh, Ka the snake. That's it. That's, that's oh, a point. Nice. That's one point for Clark Wolf. Yeah. Okay. Very confidently Bikira. delivered. Very confident. All right. Yeah. Clark, in a category of comic book movies, in The Man of Steel, how does Pa Kent die? <laughs> Do you want the real answer or the funny answer? No, uh, he dies in a tornado. That is correct. Two yeah. points for Clark Wolf. Damn, Wolf. Gunshot. In the category of famous directors, what 
was Tim Burton and Johnny Depp's first collaboration? Edward Scissorhands. Wow. Three points wow. for Wolf. Right off the bat. Right. She didn't even hesitate that, on that. That is big. That Amazing. is big. Amazing. It goes over to, to Josh. Not gonna lie here, but that is pretty good. Uh, that was good. Josh <laughs> McCougar impressed by his opponent. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Put the sunglasses on now. <laughs> All right, All right. We go. Josh McCuga in the category the, of animated. The score is three to nothing. <laughs> three to nothing. Makuga, it is your turn now. In the category of animated. Ah, correct. In the film Ice Age, a creature named Scrat is constantly protecting his what? Uh, I believe they're acorns. Hell! That is correct. That's correct. Never seen the movie, just the trailer? Yeah. So. That's all you need. <laughs> and now, on to comic book movies. All right. The mutant toad appeared and was referred to by name in which... X-Men film. Ooh. The character of Toad. What, the character of Toad. The mutant Toad appeared and was referred to by name in which X-Men film? Five, four, three. I'm going to say The Last Stand. <laughs> that is incorrect. Damn. You know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning? What's that? The same thing. Oh, <laughs> she's giving wow. quotes from the movie, which is the wow. first X-Men. First X-Men. All right. Rocking. Rubbing it in. Rubbing wow, it in. Just a little bit of rubbing in there. Right. Yeah, that's, uh, All right. that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And in the category of famous directors, okay. who directed such films as The French Connection and The Exorcist? Ooh. See Clark nodding her head. Looks like Clark knows her. French yeah. Connection. I think The Exorcist struggling. tipped her off. Struggling. Roman Polanski? <laughs> incorrect. That is incorrect. It's William Friedkin. William Friedkin. Clark Unfortunately, Wolf. you can't steal that one, Wolf, but no, good answer. But Does Clark Friedkin Wolf? also make a shampoo or is that Redican? <laughs> Clark know. Wolf in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Which 2005 sci-fi flick begins with the narration? No one would have believed in the early years of the 21st century that our world was being watched by intelligences greater than our own. Five. Men in Black 3. The answer is War of the Worlds. Oh, War F. War of the Worlds. Yes. All right. I was like, Men in Black 3? Did they oh, have words? Oh, F is the appropriate reaction. <laughs> so we still have 3 to 1. Yes. So 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Horror. In the category of horror. Ah, crap. Just give her the point. <laughs> Name two of the leads in I Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh, I even know this uh, one. Ryan Phillippe and um, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Another point for Clark Wolf. Oh. In your last category in round one, Clark, in the category of rom-com, who plays Amy Schumer's father in Trainwreck? Uh, Colin Quinn. Wow. Five points. Five wow. to one. Five Clark to one. Wolf. All right. What a strong first round from Clark Wolf. It was. Really well done. Josh you got some. you've got some, you've got some ground to catch up on here. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. He's been here before. Yes, Josh that's right. Josh has been down a lot of that's points right. in the first round. I took off the sunglasses. I got a little too cocky with the sunglasses. It's the story of his life. He's the comeback kid. I'm right. All right, the Russian's cut. Yeah, he's cut. He's cut deep. He's uh, yeah. <laughs> not a man. He's not a machine. He's a man. All right, in fantasy sci-fi, Makuga, in the 2009 film Star Trek, who played the villainous Romulan Captain Nero? Oh, oh, crap. What's that guy's name? Exactly. Um, is he plays... No. Five. Uh, I don't know. Four. Now you're going to venture a guess? Three. Uh, Colin Farrell. <sighs> Eric Bana. Eric Bana. Ah, Eric wow. Bana. Look at Clark just showing. Yeah, I know. Clark is now getting. Calm down. Don't Clark's, get too cocky. Clark's starting to dance. And she's, yeah, yeah. No, I, think, I, th yeah. I like the cocky. You like it? You like I it? I like she's, the cocky. It's really popping just the jab. I'm go. just practicing. She's doing a lead right on him. All mm -hmm. right. In the category of horror, Josh McCuga. Yes. How long do you have to live after watching the tape in the ring? Uh, I believe it's eight days. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's so seven days. Oh, Makuga almost had that. You were in the ballpark, though. You should feel good about that. All right, and finally, in the last category. You, <laughs> you were in single digits. Good job. Yeah. All right, uh, rom-com is the last uh, category right, here. here we go. In which rom-com does Kate Beckinsale write her phone number in the novel Love in the Time of Cholera? By the great Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Oh, Threw that in Kate there because Kate Beckinsale? You, I'm Latino. Love in the time of cholera? Si it's uh, not serendipity. Five, four, three. Serendipity. Correct. Yeah. Serendipity. serendipity. That's what he does. Good That's job, what buddy. Woo, does. I couldn't think of another game. When he's <laughs> on the ropes, he swings, and sometimes he hits. So okay. going into round two, it is now Clark Wolf is up five to two. Now we're going into the second round here. Here's how round two works. There will be a wheel that comes out. That wheel will be spun by our competitors. You can steal from your opponent in this round. Yeah. Each question is worth two points. 
you can opt for multiple choice where that will now be diminished to one point. Right. Now, you also, if Clark Wolf or Josh McCougar is up by 10 points going into round three, that will be considered a knockout and we will not be having a round three. We are at five points to two points. It's the lovely Sasha Pearl Raver will be bringing out the Woo! wheel. There is the wheel. It's coming out right now. <laughs> can I clarify? Yes. Can I clarify? A lovely top things? brought to you by Show Me Your uh, Moo I clarify two things real quick. Uh, once you, once you, you can steal in this round, and once you go to multiple choice and it goes down to one point, you can only get that one point once you correct, steal. Correct, correct. And if I'm correct, also, once you spin, having played the game, yes. once you spin the wheel and you don't like the first category, you are allowed one more spin, but that spin, whatever it lands on, Gotta is what it. you have to go with. Correct. Um, Clark, well, if you're in the lead, would you like to spin first or would you defer? I will spin first. All right, well, give very it a bold good choice. spin, please. All right, and I'm hoping for a horror or Sandra Bullock movie. Let's see, spin it hard. No mm. horror, no horror, no horror, no horror. Mm. What'd you get? Star Wars and I'm changing, I'm passing. Spin no. again, okay. <laughs> spin oh, it no. hard. Oh God, I was so close to Sandra Bullock too. Just spin it again. You gotta give spin it, it hard. Spin. All right, here we go. Oh, God. There we go. There we spin. go. And round we go. No horror, no bullock. No horror, no bullock. <gasps> Holy yes. shore movies. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is amazing. She had made a she, reference in wow. the first round Look when how she walked out. She was the horror. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh my. This, this is a big. This is actually really. McCougar, look at the smile on Makuga's face because this is a <laughs> this is a chance for him to steal a lot of points. Yeah. Clark is bowling over me. All right. It's five to two. Here we go. This is what's so great about the Schmodown, though, Christian. You just never know what that spin of the wheel is going to bring. You just never John know. Oh, right, we'll be I will, Clark, I will be asking you these questions. Polly Shore movies, one okay. of the great thespians of our time. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. Chicken breast and biscuits. All right, Clark, are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? In Son in Law, what holiday does Polly spend on a farm? Uh, may I have multiple choice, please? Absolutely. Is it A, Halloween, B, Thanksgiving, C, Christmas, or D, Easter. I'm going to go Thanksgiving. Ooh. That is she correct. is correct. Wow. Very, Very good. Well done. Clark. Well, Very well done, well Clark. Done. Well done. 6 2. This is Next. awful. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> what movie sees Polly and Andy Dick join the military? In the Army Now. Wow! Two man, points for man, Clark Wolf man, on that one. Man. I feel like that might have been a very terrible wow. date in her past. Someone <laughs> taking there her to the army. There are only two other Polly Shore movies that I know. So. <laughs> that makes it eight to two. All right, Clark, your next question. Who co starred with Polly in Biodome? I knew this was going to be a question. <laughs> had to. Uh, and I'm going to go Stephen Baldwin. She is correct. Wow. Wow. 10 to two. I All right. So, I have so much anxiety right now. Now, if I'm right, if she answers this, it's a 12-point lead and this is over? A 10-point no, lead and this Makuga is over? No, because has not gone yet. Okay, so, so he gets his Makuga's turn. A chance Absolutely. Yes, yes, All right. Yes. I love that the game is fair. All right, Clark. <laughs> your last question in the Pauly Shore category. Who plays the best friend of Stoney in Encino Man? Who plays the best friend of Stoney in Encino Man? May I have multiple choice, please? Absolutely. Is it A, Stephen Baldwin, B, Elijah Wood, C, Sean Astin, or D, Corey Haim? Oh, oh boy. It's Sean Astin. That is correct. Correct. Sean, wow. She hits every one of her. She hits wow. every one. She All answered right. each one correctly. After not having confidence that it was going to be a good category. I, I, listen, she got she went up pulling out with six points well in done. that round. Yeah. So she is doing really, Makuga needs to score big in this round I in need order to go, four to for four. go eight to eight the points. third round. He's yeah. in, she's, there's a chance he could get knocked out here. But you've said this. This is what Makuga does. He goes he down, and then he finds a way to come back. All right. We'll see what happens. Mac Sasha Poe has erased Pauly Shore movies. Makuga, you're up. You're spinning. He's gonna land on horror. It's all right, or Sandra Bullock again. movies. Sandra. Oh what my is it? God. What is it? He got Sandra Bullock movies. Sandra Bullock set me up. You gotta go with it. You're good. Oh, go with Sandra oh, Bullock. Go. All right. I appreciate the guts on Makuga on that one. This yep. is big. Okay. okay. So the score as of right now is 11 to 2. Love yep. Word. Here we go. In which film do Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman play sister witches? Uh, the Witches of Eastwick. May I Incorrect. steal? 
Yes, you can. You can. It's practical magic. Two points for Clark Wolf. Remember that multiple oh. choice is an yeah. option for you here. Well, I don't Josh understand McCoy. that move. Why he didn't go? Yeah. To I need two choice. points across the board. Wow. Yes. So that was a big one, right? That that was oh. okay. Thirteen to two now. My word. What state does Sandra Bullock represent in Miss Congeniality? Uh, New Jersey. Correct. Correct. Two points for Josh McCuga. All right, 13 to 4. Yeah. Here we go. In what film is Bullock's boss played by Hugh Grant? Five. Two weeks notice. Correct. Look at Makuga coming back. Amazing. At 13 to 6 here, coming back. This is Will Ferrell esque out of old school. It's just spinning out of his brain. I don't know what happened. I'm Amazing. Like, which, I love me some Sandy Bullock, here's baby. Here's your last one. <laughs> In which film stars Matt Dillon, Don Cheadle, and Sandra Bullock? Can I get multiple choice, please? Is it A, Crash, B, Babel, C, Mulholland Drive, D, Love Actually? You don't think of this as a Sandra Bullock movie, it's Crash. Yeah. Crash. All right, look at that, Makuga, Ooh. fighting back hard. All right, so at the end of round two, it yeah, is yeah. 13 yeah. to really seven. Wow. Classy Clark Wolf having a pretty nice lead here. Yeah, I think it was amazing. Both categories that came up were not necessarily categories you think both these contestants would be strong in, and they answered almost every single one of the answers, uh, questions correct. All Phenomenal. Right. Okay, so here is how round three works. The contestants will pick three numbers. Mm -hmm. Their first category they pick will be worth one point. The second one will be worth three points, and then the big five-pointer. Clark, you are in the lead. Please pick three numbers. Between Four. 1 and 21. 4, 12, which is my birthday, uh, and 19. 4, 12, and 19. Josh McCuga, please pick three numbers. I'm going to go 17, 3, 9. Clark Wolf, you are in the lead. You will go with your, with your one-pointer first. You have the category of 90s films. Category of 90s films. And... I've been in this situation before. It's a tough situation. You, don't, you, you want to make sure you answer everything correct because you just don't know as the back and forth. One, three. Is it the five-pointer that'll win you? Is it the three-pointer? You just don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel bad for both of them. This is a very <laughs> stress, stressful situation. A lot of pressure. In the first... Thank you, Roka. Right, 90s movies. In the first Scream, what was Stu's motive for the killings? Uh, well... He says, okay, it, what was his motive? Five. Four. Peer pressure. Correct. One point for Clark Wolf. I was confused because he says it's the new millennia, baby. You don't need motives, but peer pressure. Yeah. Going to go back to Josh McCuga here now for your one pointer. Josh McCuga for the category one pointer, you have classics. Category what? is classics <sighs> on one. Is Dumb and Dumber a classic? <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Okay. In a category of classics for one point. Which American film was the first to show a toilet flushing? <laughs> I know this. In classics? Toilet flushing, huh? Five, um, four. Casablanca? Psycho. Psycho is the answer. All right. Interesting. Josh mm -hmm. McCuga. All right, Josh, are you ready? For your three-pointer, who plays Scott Lang's friend, Louise, in Ant-Man? Oh, um, and I pronounced that character's name correctly. If he misses this, classic Clark Wolf is the winner. Wow. Michael Pena. He hits it. Correct. Wow. He hits it. He hits it. Yeah. Josh Maguga from downtown. It is 14 to 10. God, this sucks. We are going to now <laughs> give this five pointer to Josh Maguga. All right. Because, and we'll let Clark do her three and her five if Josh Maguga hits the five pointer. In order to stay in the game, he Jeez. needs to hit the five-pointer. Your category is sports films. Oh, Ooh, my. Man. It couldn't have been more perfect. This is Roca he needs, over again. <laughs> he, he needs a Christian Leitner shot at the last second. It's Kentucky in the NCAA tournament 2.1. You couldn't think of a better guy. Christian, be, be my situation. Grand Hill. Be my Grand Hill. Here we go. So for your five-pointer, Josh McCuga. Who coaches the Keanu Reeves-led football team in The Replacements? Here it is. If he hits it, 
He's up by one point. Gene Hackman. McCoy is up by one point. Oh, amazing. McCoy is up by one point. What, what a, a shot. comeback. My what work. a comeback. Oh, now, Clark goodness. Wolf just needs to answer either her three-pointer or her five-pointer right. to win. Oh, All right. Man, Unfortunately, so they're incredible. both... Yeah. Unfortunately, both those categories are Polly Shore movies. <laughs> no, 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 not. Please, no more. Come on, sports and Star Wars. Yeah. Come on. Please. All right, fantasy sci-fi, Clark. For your three-pointer, you have fantasy sci-fi. All right. You'll find the character of Lieutenant Stephen Heller in which 90s sci-fi film? Independence Day. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, scoring a big upset. She is now one and all, ladies and gentlemen, Classy. Uh, Clark oh, yeah. Wolf. Oh, my oh, lord. What a match. Clark do you want to give me match. my five point question? Uh, no, because I might use it on okay. somebody else. Okay. Uh, he Clark might Wolf. botch it somewhere down the line. Josh Bakuga losing his title shot tonight. Anything. Unbelievable. Pretty interesting here that that happened. As, been, they, as the wise man said <laughs> in Independence Day, it is not whatever Harry Connick Jr. said in his gas mask. It is when Will Smith kicked the alien. Welcome to Earth. You know, I've, I've been I've been exactly where Josh McCuga is. Yeah. I've lost at the last second, yeah. uh, you know, and it's, it's a terrible loss. But for me, I'm kind of love this. Why? Because I want to challenge the wild man. Whoa, right here. Yeah. Right yeah. here. Oh. As fellow losers in the third Whoa. round, I feel like we should find out which Collider host is really the best Collider Whoa. host. And what better than to have the outlaw take on the quote unquote wild man? Oh man, so, so Roka, Roka just. Because, brother. Now you're straight up your loss. You can wait. You can wait. You don't have to answer this right now. No, do you, you don't. Do no, you, no, no. Do you want to take on the outlaw? <laughs> Do I want to take on the outlaw? The man lost on a Star Wars question. Oh, all right, okay, we'll get to it later. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what a match tonight. What did he say? I don't want to take away from Classy Clark Wolf, who did win this match tonight. She and did. And we're going to throw over to the lovely Sasha Pearl Raver, who's going to speak both to the winner, Clark Wolf, and the unfortunate loser today, the wild man, Josh McCuga. Take it away, Sasha. Christian, thank you so much. Clark Wolf, let me ask you the question everybody out there is asking, girl, where did you come from? <laughs> That was unreal. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, look, I've been a fan of movies my whole life. I went to film school. I love movies. And uh, so I was really excited to get a chance to participate this time. Well, here's the thing. You can love movies. You can watch movies. But when you were asked those questions, you have that pressure. You're a first timer here. What was that like for you? I was so nervous. <laughs> and I had so much anxiety. Like, I, I was like in the laser zone because I was trying not to freak out and focus as hard as I could. But I was nervous for sure. Actually, it watched Watching you during the match, you had this look the entire time. You were in the zone, you were so focused, but then you didn't just get focused. You got vicious. You were tearing him apart. After that first round, what were your thoughts? My thoughts were, please don't blow it now, Clark. <laughs> That's a good thought. My thoughts were, just don't duel, well, don't get too cocky. And uh, and also, I liked to, I liked using the other questions as practice, almost like to kind of keep the juices flowing. And so it's look, this is fun for me. I'm a nerd. I I can't help it. So I was having fun, but I was also very nervous. It's always fun when you win. Okay, you go into the second round. You're ahead. And then here comes Polly Shore. Oh, yes, that was awful. And what was even worse was it was, you know, I it was right next to horror and I was right next to Sandra Bullock movies, the two categories that I actually wanted. And I was one little tick away and I didn't get either. And then I got Polly Shore movies, which I was saying before we were shooting, I hope I don't fucking get Polly Shore movies and I got it but but why do you care you crushed it well, so that was the good thing was as Josh pointed out on the panel he only made like four movies and so I felt like if I could keep the titles in my head and use the uh, multiple choice uh, strategy when I needed it I could prevent Josh who I was pretty sure would have gotten every single one of those without me Okay, we know that you were very close to knocking out Makuga, which is major, which means you are going in now to be one of the top contenders. There are people talking online about how you should fight Mance, you should take on Riley. What do you think about those people? You know, they are, I, I've been watching all of the Schmodowns and, uh, and from this league and pa past leagues, and they're all really smart and really savvy. I don't know if I could take, I don't know if I could take Mark Riley, that's for sure. He knows things where I'm just like, how do you know that? I'm impressed with everybody. So it, whoever I 
go up against next, it's going to be a challenge. I find it very hard to believe that you are that impressed because every single person thought that Makuga, he's a ninja. He is yeah. a trivia ninja, and you just rocked his world. Look, I have been friends with Josh for a while. He knows his stuff. I know this about him. He knows film and he knows television. So I was definitely worried about that myself but you know it's so much of this game is also luck and strategy and you know fortunately it just worked out it's luck it's strategy it's know-how and this girl has a lot of know-how thank you so much clark congratulations thank you ladies and gentlemen i did not expect to be here standing with josh makuga the not winner how did that happen how do you feel right now josh you, you can say it i lost i'm a loser I'm, i i ate it. I, I ran my car right into the wall. I was sitting high and pretty in a 1965 convertible and when this ended I have a 1976 Pacer with one wheel on it. But it wasn't that bad. There were times where you were you were on the comeback trail. You were down, badly down and you rose to the occasion. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not taking away anything from Clark Wolf. She kicked crap out of me at one point I mean she was up 11 at one point uh, it was really just it was a heartbreaking loss in, in my but in my defense Clark Wolf is kind of a movie genius she's a little bit of a savant she went to film school uh, again we've known each other for a long time and every time we've ever talked about movies she's like ah, well you know Eric and so-and-so was the editor on that and he was the editor on this one I'm like there's editors in movies I don't know I just shot it and what happened it's <laughs> It, she knows her stuff. Uh, yes, I did have a nice comeback. I got some some lucky answers in there. But Clark, I mean, mowed through the first down. She only missed one question in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And that includes Pauly Shore movies, which you would expect a guy like me to know Pauly Shore movies. I thought for sure when that came up, I was like, you're going to... Yeah, yeah, like, you know. All right. The hardest part about this, perhaps, yeah. is this just cost you the title match. I, know. I was, uh, you know, it's like Mike Tyson's punch out on regular Nintendo. Mm. I, I just gotten to my title bout and I lost to second piston Honda it's just it's what happens so who would you like to take on next how do you want to climb well, back up I mean you got Roca calling you out obviously we're gonna see that but what happens after Roca because let's assume you can roll through that guy listen Roca called me out on national television as the host he was brought in to host and he calls me out like some kind of punk I can't say no to this situation okay we host the Walking Dead after show he thinks he's Mr. So-and-so because he leads it off, but everybody tunes in for me. We all know this, okay? Uh, the guy lost to Movie Mance on a Star Wars trivia Ooh. thing. Like, listen, if I hosted a Star Wars podcast, I would probably know my Star Wars stuff, okay? I don't host an Airborne podcast, so you don't see me out there taking Airborne questions. Do I accept John Roca's challenge? Absolutely I do. And it'll be so fun to take that stupid cowboy hat of his and throw it in the L.A. friggin' river. All right, after Roca, anybody else you'd like to see? Yeah, I want JTE. Ooh, you heard it here first, people. Well, it was a tough one. Makuga, thank you so much. Back to you guys. Wow. Well, wow. uh, first of all, you, I knew you were here for a reason. Yeah. Um, you were looking, you were just, you were just re ready to pounce. I was quietly cheering for Clark Wolf because I wanted Makuga, I want to take him down, and I thought it'd be a nice, I thought it'd be the right way to do it, take him down and watch his destruction here, and then I'd take him down afterwards, and then we'd be the end of Makuga. We don't yep. have to hear the wild man anymore! But again, I don't want to take away from Clark Wolf here no, what no, she the did. Ginger Assassin was amazing. This was one of the best performances we've seen so far in the show. Absolutely. Now. It rivals she, Dan Morrell. Listen, she is going to be someone to look yeah, absolutely. after in this one. She is going to now, who is she going to play? Is she going to play the winner of, of Schnepp and Finstock? Is she going to play Sam Levine? Who does Clark play next? That's the next, yeah. that is the next question because she is going to be dangerous. Well, I think after this performance, she should have the pick of the litter. If she Don't wants, you think? I, if she, listen, I think she's earned it. Absolutely. That was pretty impressive. What did yeah. you guys think? Did you look? But to take nothing away from Akuga, no, he was, no. He was on the verge of a knockout mm -hmm. and came back within what was leading at one point. Yeah. So great match here. Very happy that it happened. Congratulations to Clark Wolf. Makuga will definitely be back. Char character that he's facing is sitting right beside me here. Clubber Lang, aka the outlaw John Roca. Guys, thank you again for joining us on this edition of Collider Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harloff. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.